Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and welcome to your Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 12 review. And I gotta say, this was a pretty action-packed episode. A little bit better than uh, than last week's episode. They infiltrated Negan's base. Um, we learned that Maggie and Carol have gotten captured, and the next episode is going to be about, you know, uh, them and how they got captured, and I guess how they managed to escape. It's been a while since we've seen a solo story. Um, you know, the, the last one was unfortunately Morgan's solo story that was 90 minutes, and oof. As I mentioned many times before in these reviews, I was not a big fan of that. Um, but this one looks like it's going to be a lot more eventful, a lot more exciting, and it's not going to be an origin story. So, there hasn't been a story like this, not really solo because it is Maggie, and but it is off from the main group with fewer people, far fewer uh, characters in this episode, and it's going to concentrate on them. And I, I'm, I'm happy about this because they seem like they took the focus off Carol for a while, and now that she's, you know, back in the spotlight, I, guys, I said, Carol went from being one of my least favorite characters to one of my favorites. Um, seriously, I mean, I think it's like it goes Daryl, Rick, and then probably Carol. Um, and Carol sometimes seems even tougher than Rick. She seems more ruthless. Uh, you know, we really learned a lot about Carol. We've learned about how she's changed as a character. We've seen her evolve and you know, that's one of the best things about this show, when you really see characters and how they change so much since the beginning. Like, I was even just seeing the commercial from the first season of just how Rick and Daryl looked. They looked, like, completely fucking different. Um, and it's just cool to see that. And it's even better when it has to do with their actual personalities and their character. Um, so, you know, that... that that's great to see, as always. Um, and there was just a lot of action, you know, inside the base and everything. It was cool just seeing them infiltrated. You know, a, a lot of, um, you know, there was a firefight. It was, it, it was just, it was great. Um, you know, and it's action packed, and there's nothing wrong with that. First half of the episode was about building up. Um, I, like I said, I can't always help but feel like sometimes they take a little bit too long to build up towards it, like. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes with an hour, uh, they really just seem to fill it up with a lot of dialogue that really doesn't seem like it needs to be there. Um, but, you know, it's like I never hate the dialogue. I'm never really bored with it. But sometimes it doesn't really seem like it goes anywhere. It takes a long time for them to actually do something. And when you see, um, uh, you know, Rick standing in front of that church, um, you know, that, that, that pane uh, glass window... Um, and, and a guy, Jesus, at his side, it really made Rick look godlike and, and a messiah. And I don't know if they mentioned that. I didn't watch Talking Dead, but, you know, that was a, a really cool scene to see. There was some interesting cinematography with the way how that was shot with the fucking window over his shoulder. Um, so this was a great episode. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next one. And Maggie, Carol... Uh, storyline, you know, a little story arc there is going to be pretty interesting to see that little side story. Um, so yeah, I I'll catch you next time for the uh, for episode thirteen. All right, guys.